I am so busy trying to look for a job. I just don't have time to do anything else. Jobs are hard to come by and in the midst of all these busy times, I am asked by Summer to help in the old age home. You are hanging out too much with your friends. You are always following everything they tell you. Summer is your friend. Furthermore, you should find the time to serve everyone and anyone who asks for help. My friends have also asked me to hang out with them at the same time. You are wasting too much time with friends. Son, don't depend on the external for your inner happiness. Be confident. Do the right things. They have asked you to hang out and Summer asked you to go to the old age home. Yeah, time Papa, time. I don't have the time, but I will try and squeeze some time and try to help Summer. Good, that's my son. Try and help. You know, this reminds me of the story of the Buddha and the beggar man. Long back ago, there was a homeless man who used to live on begging for food. Oh, I am so lucky. There are so many kind people in town who give me alms. I am alive only because of them. Oh, mouse, why are you stealing my food? I am just a poor beggar. Why don't you eat at the rich man's house? They have plenty of food. I know that even if you beg the whole day, you cannot keep more than eight items with you. Do you know I am actually doing a favor to you? Favor? What favor? Who told you this? directly from Lord Buddha. But why would Lord Buddha say something like this? I don't know. It's better you ask Lord Buddha yourself. I must know why I am not allowed to keep more than eight items at a time. I need to find Lord Buddha and ask him. So, the beggar collected his belongings and began his long journey to find Lord Buddha. He travelled all day in the cold weather in the direction as guided by the people. He was feeling cold and hungry. Suddenly, he saw a light coming from a house. The beggar walked to the house in order to ask for some food and to stay for one night. Sir, I am very hungry. Can I please get some food and shelter to sleep for one night in your house? Uh, why, sure, young man. Y you're more than welcome. Please, come in. Where are you travelling to, young man? I have a question to ask Lord Buddha. I am on my way to meet him. Since you are going to meet Lord Buddha, could you also ask a question on our behalf? We have been waiting for this opportunity for a long, long time. You see, we have enough land and wealth, but our daughter has not been able to speak since birth. Can, can you ask Lord Buddha when she will be able to speak? We really would love to hear her sweet voice. Well, why not? I will surely get an answer for your question. I thank you for your hospitality. I will leave early in the morning tomorrow to meet Lord Buddha. The next morning, the beggar started his journey to find Lord Buddha in the direction advised by the people of his village. He came across 
the mountain range. Oh my, it is so difficult. I will not be able to cross even one hill. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Why are you crying, young man? What happened to you? I am travelling to meet Lord Buddha, who is at present on the other side of the mountain. I have an important question to ask him, but I cannot climb these mountains. It looks like I will not be able to find the answer to my question. Now, now, don't cry. I will fly you to the other side of the mountain. Thank you so much, sir. I could never have made it without your help. You have been so kind. It was a pleasure to help you. Would you mind doing me a favor? Sure, why not? I'll do anything to return the favor. Please ask Lord Buddha what I have to do in order to reach heaven. I've been trying to get there for a thousand years, but I've not been successful. The beggar man continues on his journey and arrives on the bank of a river. I don't know how to swim. How will I reach the other shore? What do I do now? <sighs> Just then, a giant turtle appears and offers a ride to the other side. The beggar gladly accepts the ride and upon reaching on the other side, the giant turtle, learning that the beggar is searching for Lord Buddha, also asks him a favour. Can you please ask Lord Buddha when I can become a dragon? I have been trying really hard the past 500 years to become a dragon. At long last, the beggar finds Lord Buddha sitting under a tree. My dearest Lord Buddha, I have travelled many days and nights to meet you. I have a few questions to ask of you. Could you be kind enough to answer them? Sure, you can ask. But I will answer only three questions. But I have four questions and all are important. How do I choose which three questions to ask? The Buddha said three, but the beggar had four questions. The giant turtle has been trying to become a dragon for 500 years with no success. The wizard has been trying to reach heaven the last 1,000 years. The young girl, she will not be able to speak for the rest of her life if her question is not answered. Their answers matter a lot to them. I'm just a homeless beggar. I can live on begging. My question is the least in priority as compared to theirs. My dearest Lord Buddha, my first question is, how can the turtle become a dragon? Armed with the answers, the beggar jumped with joy and met the giant turtle. Well, what was Lord Buddha's answer? Simple. He needs to leave the comfort of his own shell. The day he does this, he will become a dragon. I have many precious pearls in my shell. I don't need them anymore. Here, you can have them all. See, I'm a dragon now. Good luck, beggar man. The beggar then left the elated giant turtle and met the wizard up on the mountains and answered his question 
on how he could reach heaven. He must put down his magic staff. This is keeping him on earth. The moment he puts it down, he will be able to reach heaven. Really? Here, take my staff and use its power wisely. Thank you for sending me to heaven. So the beggar now has the precious gems from the giant turtle, which is wealth, and the power from the wizard. He flies on the shaft given by the wizard to the home of the girl who cannot speak. You have finally come back from meeting Lord Buddha. Did Buddha give you the answer to our question? Yes, he did. Buddha said that your daughter will speak the day she meets her soulmate. Oh, I remember you. You are the man who came here last week. Hey, look, look, look at this! My daughter, my daughter can speak now. Look, my daughter can speak now. So you are her soulmate. I would like you to stay in this house and take care of my daughter. Papa, you're not going to believe this. I went with Summer to the old age home, and while I was cleaning the home, another wealthy man came to give a donation there. The caretaker introduced us as social workers, and he then asked me what I was doing. I told him that I was looking for a job. He then offered me a job as he was looking for a suitable person. Papa, I really cannot believe it. Like the turtle, you were prepared to step out of your own shell of comfort and sacrifice your time for others. Like the wizard, you were prepared to stop depending on the shaft for external power, but focus on your inner confidence. You were confident to say no to your friends and gave time where it was needed. Detachment has power. You were prepared to be like the beggar. You focused on the happiness of others instead of living for yourself. You therefore were rewarded like the beggar. You have now received everything. Son, these are not stories, but reminders. On how we should live our lives. <laughs>